Hey, what's up? Bay Area is Jonathan Bay Area Throwbacks, and I have a jersey that is not a Bay Area jersey. It is an Evansville Flannels um, jersey that I got off uh, Murph from the group. So shout out to you, Murph. Um, he actually has a YouTube page, a lot of cool Evans jerseys and different stuff like that. So I'll put his, um, what do you call it, link in the description. <clears throat> Go check him out. So he sold me this jersey for a great deal. It's really cool because this is a player that I wouldn't usually be able to get a jersey of because he never really played for a Bay Area team. But this is a jersey that uh, I was willing to grab of him. And it is the legendary Babe Ruth, the great Bambino, all the, you know, all 50 nicknames he has. So um, this is actually a jersey from 1934. Uh, it's of the U.S. tour of Japan where um, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Jimmy Fox, a um, bunch of other players, they went over to Japan kind of to... Um, Represent the USA, not just for baseball, but kind of to build a some type of relationship or, you know, positive communication between, you know, Japan and the United States. So that's what they did. Um, they played a bunch of games there against pro um, players over there, which was the, this wasn't the first tour uh, baseball tour of Japan. If you look at uh, Lefty Odoo, he was involved with a lot of the previous ones or with at least some of the previous ones. But this is the first one where it was actually against um, major uh, professional players in Japan, not collegiate players or amateurs. This is against the pro players over there. And, um, yeah, so this is that jersey. A beautiful Ebbets jersey you've got. So they were called the All-Americans. The reason they were called the All-Americans wasn't just because they were from America, but because the National League players were actually not allowed to go. They were prohibited from going, so therefore it was just All-American League players. So that hence the name all americans so you got some beautiful patches on the side you got that three on the back and yeah if it's killed this um i've seen game use jerseys and it's pretty much um i mean on computer but when i looked at the game these jerseys pretty much matches up with this they did it, they killed it with this um so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna look um closer at the jersey so here we got the bottom of the jersey. You got that nice rounded cut. Uh, let me see on the inside, nothing. I like that Evans doesn't have, you know, a fat jock tag here or anything. It makes it look more original. You got the red, white, and blue. Trim that goes up and eventually around the back of the collar. <clears throat> Work your way up, and you have this beautiful All-Americans patch right here. You got the white is felt, and then you got this chain stitching. Oh, and you got that American flag patch right there, chain stitched. You got the Americans also chain stitched. You got that blue around that also looks, it's also chain stitched. Beautiful patch, beautiful job by Evans Field as always. <clears throat> on the side, on the bottom of the sleeves, you have that red, white, and blue trim here. And you got the red, white, and blue right there right there then you got the u.s patch here chain stitching as well you got the red chain stitched u.s or u the white chain stitched s and you got the blue is felt on the um as the border so i've seen two game use jerseys one had the blue like this and one didn't so it looks like they kind of had both I mean, obviously, this was 1934, so who knows how consistent they were back then. But that's that right there. On this side, same thing, but you got this American flag patch. Again, it's beautiful chain stitching. With the white at the bottom. But yeah, it's just beautiful. Great job right there. Beautiful patch. Same thing here, you got the red, white, and blue, and the red, white, and blue again. Um, here you got 
Evans Field, Flannel, Seattle, Washington, Made in USA, XL. 50% uh, wool, 50% polyester. Still with the tags. Brand new when I bought it. And on the back, you got Babe Ruth's number three, which is double stitched with this felt, felt numbering, felt material. That's the bag pretty much. Uh, armpit area, pretty much it. That's the jersey, beautiful jersey, multiple patches. I love the red, white, and blue combo. I always love that. And a lot of beautiful chain stitching going on. And that's that, I'm gonna throw it on now. Uh, real quick before I move on, shout out Throwback King uh, Snacks. He, uh, I should probably know this, but He's the one who let, he let me know that these stars, these 13 stars here represent the 13 U.S. colonies. So that's what that part's about. And shout out to you, Throwback King, and we're going to move on. Real quick, I'm going to give measurements. I just measured it from here to here. So across the chest, it was 26 and a half inches. I measured it from here, top point, down to here, 34 inches. So this is the jersey on me, it's an XL. Usually I go with large, but um, my boy Murph uh, sold it to me for 90 bucks. So, you know, can't really beat that. And it still fits well, you know, it fits good across the chest. This is one of the jerseys that doesn't have a uh, longer sleeve. So sleeves are perfect. A little bigger down here, but nothing crazy. You know, I don't wear super tight pants, so I should be good. Also, I could probably just wear a hoodie under this and it'll fit perfect. So this is it, 1934 US tour of Japan Babe Ruth jersey. Happy to um, finally have a Bay Ruth jersey in my collection. Um, like I said, me, I stick to my Bay Area teams. Um, obviously, Bay Ruth didn't play for any of those teams. So, uh, you know, never had never had the opportunity to have one before. Now I have one. So, now I have one. So, like I said, this is the jersey right here. Beautiful jersey. Shout out to Evans. They did an amazing job on this one. All the chain stitching, the patches. I mean, it's just a beautiful jersey. So, and, and I love the history behind it, too, because it's more than just uh, baseball history. It is U.S. history, um, especially for that time where baseball was the biggest sport. And Babe Ruth was probably one of the biggest stars in the world at the time, at least in the world, when it came to places that, ca that cared about baseball or sports at all. So, you know, he was like the Michael Jordan at the time uh, in the sense of, you know, being a pop uh, icon through sports. So I'm going to stop talking now. Everyone have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you didn't. Subscribe if you're not already. And if you are subscribed, thanks for being here again. I'll see you all next time. Peace.